Welcome, dudes and dudettes. I hope you're having a beautiful day because we need to be careful while we collect these bees. I hope you have have had enough uh, <laughs> of the bee jokes. Anyways, guys, yes, we are going to be looking for some bees today. Now, not these kind of bees here. Uh, there are zero bees in this bee nest, but there's lots of honey. Uh, we're going to be looking for the at productive bees. I, did I really just say at productive? That's what we type here. But yes, productive bees is a mod that is in 1.17, and it adds a variety. It kind of mixes what, if you guys remember what the old bee mod used to be like, it mixes that with the bees that are in Minecraft now. And yes, I have upgraded these two diamond tier they're pretty great but these are the bees that we're going to go ahead and be looking for uh, we need to go ahead and get a nest locator uh, so that's going to require a note block that's going to require a compass and it's going to require some iron bars those that texture looks kind of funky okay so with these together we can go ahead and start looking for these um now, I believe the one we can't get is in the, or we can't get in the old world is the, that one. There should be one that the green carpenter is in. Yes, we need to look for the oak nest. Uh, that's what we're going to be searching for. First of all, good thing is we got some oak here. So we need to set this to oak. Okay, so it says we got one that is 73 meters away, and it's pointless. Now, I don't know if this is a one-use only, uh, but we're going to go ahead and check. Oh, dang. Okay, so it's going to have us try to, to use this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and break that. All right, so we've got a lot of... Ouch, we got a lot of trees over here, so let's go ahead. Nothing. What about dirt? Nothing. Okay. Uh, how about dirt now? Nothing. Jeez, this is helpful. And now we're out of food. Ah, okay. Oh, it's the last one. Look at that. Okay, and this... <gasps> Woo! Look at you! You're such a tiny little turtle. There it is. There it is. There it is. Get out of here, cauliflower. We got a digger bee. Yes. Hey, look at that. We got another one. Digger bee empty. Ugh. Did you kill my bee friend? Okay guys, so it has actually been quite a bit of time between the last clip and this one. Unfortunately, I got quite a bit of head cold. Wait. Quite a bit of a head cold last week and wasn't able to record anything because, uh, yeah, it affected my voice and it sounded like uh, it was terrible. I don't rec I don't wish that on anyone. It was horrible, but that did allow me to do some very fantastic things for our world, uh, like finding two cave spider spawners so close to each other that we could set up a dual cave spider farm and creating a honey collecting system uh, for the future of our bees. And that brings us here. So I did go ahead and we got these set up. Um, if you guys want to know how they're set up, it's very simple. We have beehive, block. We have redstone comparator, redstone, 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 block, block. Or, yeah, block, block with redstone, redstone on top. Uh, super duper simple. I can't get up there. I'm sorry. I'm short. I mean, Steve's like six foot something. But, yeah, we have just redstone going up here that activates the... The, the dispenser and these have shears in them and they shear the bees whenever they're ready. I'm thinking about at nighttime replacing this with a glass stair because that is a thing in this um, and that way I can actually breed up the bees while they're in this little area because I only have two here and then two in this one. 
Uh, but I do have three in this one, so that one's full. I wasn't able to find the other bees for the other two. Uh, and so this is also the one that uses glass bottles instead of the shears. And so, yeah, we've only got five of the honey bottles because I did switch that later when I had the glass. But we got a whole bunch of honeycombs, and this is exactly what we need today. Uh, the cool thing is I actually got every single one of the bees that we wanted to get. So if we go like this, as you can see, we even actually got some extra ones, which is cool. I found these slimy nests in a jungle, and then we also got a bumblebee bee nest. So yeah, we have everything we need here. That one's empty. We've got a resin bee uh, empty, I think. Uh, chocolate mining bee. Yeah, we just recently got that. So what we want to go ahead and do with these guys is if we look here yes we want the honey treat these are going to be our friend and uh, the way we do that is we just put those together bam oh it's not going to do it the cool way okay so i only want a couple of these because i do want to save some honey even though we are automatically producing it we are we're going to make this so much bigger eventually. I, but I missed it. Uh, these are what we want. So these are dirt nests. And the only way to get those chocolate bees is to put the honey there. That's how I got my my chocolate bee. So, yeah, um, that's good. We're going to go ahead and set up a couple more of those. But the great thing is, is we can actually use um, the bee nests, I believe. Uh, these are like we're going to try using the advanced oak beehive. <clears throat> So that's going to require us to make the beehive. So good thing is we can make a total of one. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead, get rid of those. And there we go. We got, ooh, 31. That's good. We still got a bunch of bee honeycomb left over. Great. So those are going to be our friend. I don't need the acacia wood. I need the sand. So we're going to go ahead. Ooh, we are running low on some fuel. You get some fuel, and you get some fuel, and you get you get rid of fuel. You lose fuel. There we go. Okay, so we're going to let those process up because we are literally making just more of those over there. Oh, and I also forgot to show you guys, we have an enchanting table up here. Yes, I, I committed uh, war crimes against the population of cows on this server, or on this world. So don't tell anyone. The villagers are out looking for me because they are suspicious that it was me, and it was, but don't tell. So anyway, advanced oak beehive. This is what we want to make. Now, does it have to be a soul campfire for this? Um, I believe, yeah, we can make one, but let's go ahead. Oh, we can make more one. Okay, let's do. Let's put some. Let's put some gear on going into the Nether because we need to go get some soul soil. All right, we are fully geared up with iron armor. Eventually, we'll switch over to diamonds. Uh, by the way, enchanting table for the win. Oh man, so good. Oh. I'm so glad I put armor on because we got some fools. We got spiders. Okay, so yeah, my sword's pretty powerful. Ooh. My sword's pretty powerful. We've got sharpness four, looting three, unbreaking three, knockback two, sweeping edge three. It is amazing for the cave spider spawner. And we'll take some normal soul sand as well for the road. Oh, that could have been bad. Shut up, guy over there. Bro. Oh, he went through the portal. He's got half a heart, though. You okay? Ooh, trader llama. Is that too good? Okay. So we have the required soul soil, which is cool. We can go ahead and create a couple of these. Okay. So we got a total of 17 of those. Uh, now we're definitely, I don't believe, I do have a couple of shears in there, but I believe they need to be not broken shears. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing wood, just normal wood? Just normal wood? Why didn't anyone tell me? We've got 11 of them. Okay, so what is the difference with these? Um, I place it down. I look in it. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is fantastic. 
right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna create a couple more of those. Okay, so we're gonna build a couple of like breeding chambers over here. Um, so we're just gonna make these five wide. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three. There we go. I was miscounting. Okay, and we're gonna want. Ooh, we're gonna want a double door system here. Um, so like this, and then like this. So just in case one of the bees does sneak out of this one, we have an extra door here so they can't fully escape. Uh, so just going to bring this up all the way. We will need another stack because uh, then one, two. Yeah, so this is where the other one will be. And then we're just going to put a half slab roof on top of it. And for now, we're going to go like this so I can get up here. Very cool. Okay, so this is going to be our little B room here. Uh, very cool. We have a couple of the uh, honey bottles ready. So we're going to go ahead and make a couple more of the, uh, like the little transfer cases. These guys, I believe there's a way to make a sturdy version of this. Um, mm, I guess not. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get four of these. So to get an iron bee, what do we need? Well, we need our crystalline and ashy mining bee. And the great thing is we have both of those. Um, so we're going to go ahead and breathe those up. I'm also going to get some uh, flowers for the floor in there. Um, do, do, do. We got a couple here. We're going to breed them up with the flower. Um, do I have any more? I don't. That should be good, though. Okay, so with here, we're looking for the ashy mining bee. All right, there's one. And then we need the quartz one. Okay. So here we go. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to place these in there. And hopefully uh, they get out. And then once they do, we will take away. Yep, he came right out. So that goes. And then what about you? Yay. Cool. So we've got those both out of here. We're going to take some poppies. Give it to you. Give it to you. And what are you? What are you? Hold up. Hold up. Stop being so tiny. We got 10? That's a tin B. Oh my lord. We got a tin B. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let him grow up. Okay, so we gotta wait about 300 seconds. Okay, we can do that. Um, I guess we'll do something like that, even though it's not really good for them. But look at that, we got tin. We have a way to automate tin. Very, very cool. And are we getting more over here? Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The bees are coming along. See, we can get a copper bee. We can get an aluminum bee, an iron bee, and a tin bee. Yeah, we're definitely going to get all of those. So, yeah. We're going to need a lot more sand. Oh, my lord, we're going to need so much. Okay. But the cool thing is we have those two cleared out. Uh, and it, the sand is going to be really for those. So I'm going to go collect a heck ton of sand and I will be right to Biak. Yo, that's a, like skeleton bee. Those only move into a dirt nest after like a certain bee's been there. So we got to go ahead and get him really quick. Um, I did go ahead and expand this up another one. So we have a total of three... Well, two more chests. For now, we'll put one on top, so we'll have a total of three more diamond chests. But let's go... Yes. Sturdy case. B cage. I do have a sturdy cage. Okay, so we can... Very cool. I don't even remember how I got that. But yeah, he's vibing over here. Let's go see where he is. Okay. 
Um, seeing something move kind of quick over here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Got a skeletal bee. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, this guy. Uh, I believe, yes, he gives us bones. Perfect. We can breed him into a die bee. Or a withered bee. Perfect. That's going to be amazing. What do we get for the withered bee? Um, withered honeycomb. Withered skull. Ooh, if we get enough of those guys, it'll be sweet. Okay, so what I want to go ahead and do is we're going to set up a little area where we're going to have all of our, like, production bees. And it's very temporary for now. It's going to be a little bit away from the base uh, because I have a feeling bees might become a little laggy. Um, so we're just going to have them temporarily in a weird spot. But we do need the bee stuff. Okay, so advanced... Yeah, the advanced oak beehive is exactly what we're looking for here. We're going to take those. You can have those. Take that. You can have that. Perfect. Okay. So we need to make the expansion. Um, yes. Oak expansion box. We're going to need to make a total of five of these. We are out of wood. Of all the things to be out of, we have so much wood and we're out of it. All right, so we got three, four. That was weird. Ah, there we go. Well, let's do 10 because this will expand how many bees can be in each of the advanced oak beehives by two. Uh, so we can have a total of five bees in each of them. So we're going to make a couple of little areas for them and who are you oh you're leaf cutter boy okay so we're gonna make it uh one smaller so just a little three by three area with the oh why'd you take damage okay that was that worried me for a second uh and let's see we have a lot of open space right right here next to the base um so we're gonna go oh, we've got a weird guy he's a weird boy Stay away. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead, level this out, and then we'll fill in underneath. We're doing lots of clearing over here. That was a cow. I thought that was another bee. I was excited. I have bees on the mind, as you can tell. Thank you, iPad, for alerting me that a notification came through. Yo, it's my boy, Psychotic Butcher. He's live on Twitch. You guys should go check him out. Link in the description. All right, check it out. We got a weird kind of cave over here. Might need to terraform that down. But yes, this is where we're going to set up our little area. Um, so I don't have any doors on me, so we can't fully set it up. Uh, but one, two, three... Uh, just like this, and this will hold one set of bees. One, two, three. Oh, yes. And then we're going to go, let's see, because those need to be here. So then it'll be like this. <coughs> oh. Okay, so I know this looks really terrible right now but it is temporary so we're gonna have four of these on each side so one two three then we're gonna have two in the middle and then we're gonna have a four on the other side okay so here's the shape for each of them very cool that's uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna put an advanced oak beehive into each of these All right, and then those are in. Now the expansion box goes on top, and as you can see, it actually does connect to it. It's really, really cool. So look, we have three bees here. Let's go ahead and add it. Now we have a five. So cool. So we can have a lot of bees going, and then breeding the bees within the each of these is going to look really good as well, or it's going to work really good as well. So that'll be amazing. And you can only have... 
Uh, ooh, you can only have one expansion box per. Per beehive. So there is that as well. But 10, 10 should be good. Um, yeah, so now we have the fun process of bringing these up like this. And this is going to require a lot of glass. So I'm probably going to be turning my all of my wood into charcoal. Uh, but the good thing is we can get wood back pretty easily. So I'm going to do this for a bit. I'll get all of these covered. And I'm probably going to throw a glass roof on top of these. And then once I've got that completed, we will be right back. Um, so our 10B has disappeared. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try to breed these up again. Oh, he got out. What do we got here? We got another 10B. Okay, we got to go get that guy. He, he's not allowed to leave. <laughs> uh, come back, 10B. We need you. Yes. Yes, you. Yes, you. Got you. Okay. Uh, 10B. Perfect. We've got him. I haven't even done a whole lot, but I just I came back to check and see how big he was, and he's just gone. I thought he died. But no, if they grow up close to the glass, there's a chance that they will escape, and that's something we need to be concerned about. But hopefully that's just a one-time thing. Okay, so we've got the enclosures made. They look really weird just because we don't have Optifine installed. And there's a lot of lines, but check it out. We have these oak glass doors so we can see much better in here. And then, yeah, so we're going to have the flowers and stuff around here. So the bees will be flying around in here. They'll be able to hop back into their uh, their beehive very easily. Uh, if we have an issue because the, the entrance is at the front, we can always just rotate this to the back and we'll be good. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to have each of these uh, kind of different. And then we're also going to have, you know, some probably wood coming up through here. And then we're going to have like a dough, like kind of like a half cylinder roof going across here. And then the entrance being over here. So it'll be sweet. Uh, and then I'm also thinking we might have a basement and that's my, that might be where we do all the breeding and stuff like that. Again, this is not really temporary, but it's the starter base because I have a build planned out for all of our bees and like automation stuff like that. And it's fantastic, but it's massive. So we're definitely going to have to move off somewhere else to get it. Uh, but I did just breed these guys again. We have another 10 bee. Ugh. If we could just, you know, get not another 10 bee. Um, so now we're going to have a total of three of those which is great because i only wanted two though because then we can start breeding them but three is good uh but we got to wait another uh 300 seconds before we can rebreed them so let's see a 10b what do they need um uses 10b uh so they need 10 blocks okay so more than likely we're just gonna make the floor completely tin um so let's see how much tin do i have got a bit here uh, so if I take the raw tin and smash it with a hammer oh that was weird like so <laughs> uh, we can go ahead and smelt uh, this stuff up and I can make I just need eight tin blocks yeah it's gonna be all of the bottom there so we're gonna work on that and then I also did add a bunch of these for more glass uh, which is amazing for building so we can actually set up our second breeding area now uh, So I'm super duper excited about that Yo dudes we got a copper bee. Oh, this is gonna be great. I just breeding them up uh, And they popped out a little copper guys. So cool. Uh, that guy's only got like 50 seconds left That guy's got like 2,000 seconds left. It's a little crazy how long it takes for these guys to grow up, but it, it's looking good. So this is what I got going on over here at the B Center. Uh, I put in this spruce wood, and I want to go ahead and add in the stripped uh, dark oak in some spots. Um, might make it look pretty good. However, I don't think I can really get away with putting it here because these feel too close. Or I'd have to do something like this, and that might not look ho well. We could do that, and then these could like be the 
beams and go up and support. We could even have like a second level. Oh my goodness. We could have a second level. It's like a villager trading hall or something like that. I don't know. Let me know if, what you guys think down in the description. Do you think A, we should have them on the outside and not blocking the innards? Or do you think we should have them be uh, kind of in the middle here acting like supports i think it looks good here but in the corner having the door like that i'm not a big fan of. that's the only reason why let me know down in the comments a or b what you guys think um that'll be very helpful all right it's just about night time so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is steal this tin b here we got both of them yep so now we can go ahead and make our way over to this first one on the left. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some glowstone up in the top so it kind of lights, illuminates in there. Kind of lights it up, you know what I mean? Uh, so we'll do this. We'll do this. Um, we'll go like so. And then you are free. And... Uh, oh, he's already in here. Cool. So they're both in here. Might not be a bad idea to rotate that. And the cool thing is we can put a hopper directly under those to pull out all of the items. And the cool thing is, yeah, they give us tin, tin for free. Uh, and then, yes, we have all of the tin that we desire. Actually, we need a little bit more. So that's seven. We need a little bit more tin. Wait, it would probably be better to do this at night. I was about to sleep and pass the night, and I'm like, hold up, but the bees are going to be inside their homes. So if I were to do that at daytime, they would get mad. Or I could have a chance to hit them a lot easier, which is what I'm really concerned about, is hitting the bees, you know. Okay, let's go put the flooring in. And then the next one over will be copper. I thought that was a baby zombie running at me. It was kind of sp kind of spooky. Actually, what we could do is put this like that. So this is the center spot now. And then that's an open spot for them. Cool. So that actually works out quite a bit better. I just need to fix that on all of them. Um, but yeah, those are good to go. We can actually breed them together once they're out and we can actually get more tin bees in there which is amazing okay so what i want to go ahead and do now is get two output chests going uh this is where we're going to direct all of our items that we're going to pull out and then we're going to use them on in a centrifuge uh, we're not going to process them all uh, separately we're going to do them together for now uh, so we just need two of those. We are running low on gold. Okay, perfect. So we got two of those. And we're going to need a heck ton of hoppers. Yes. Okay, so we're not going to have all of those filled up right away. So we're going to do this uh, temporarily. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, we can't have them just come straight across. We have to go down and then over. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and clear out some area, but this should be fun. Ooh, we've hit a cave. It's a spooky, spooky cave. Okay. So all we got to do is just do that, put a hopper here, and then... Uh, so chest is going to go there. Oops. Well, I got to go back and get that. Okay. So those are automatically being collected now, which is pretty neat. Um, give me out. <coughs> So there we go. Here's our output. Ooh, our output chest. We've already got 10. Holy heck. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, put that in a centrifuge. We get tin dust, and that goes right into a tin ingot. Holy crap, guys. That's amazing. Now, can we breed these guys up with just normal flowers? Is that a thing? 
Hello, Mr. B. Yes! <laughs> Look at that. We'll have another Tidby. So cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go take a look over here at the copper bee. Are these guys ready to breed again? Maybe. Maybe. Yes, they are. Okay. So, you there. You there. It's precious. Oh, <gasps> we got an iron bee, dudes. We got an iron bee. And he knows that he is the chosen one. Oh, man. Oh, we can speed up the growth process with giving him stuff. Look at that. Only 300 seconds. Oh, man. If we get a flower farm going, we'll be able to breed these guys up like mad. But that's it. We got the iron bee. Guys, we are on our way to getting automated resources, which is fantastic. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.